Hi, my name is Morgan, and today we're going to be exploring the Create the Experience portion of the Collaborative Teaching Approach. This needs to be carefully considered for our learners so that it creates a positive experience and set them up for success in their scheme. For this example, let's say our student is an adult who is a bit apprehensive and wants to explore the terrain a bit more with speed. I've chosen this terrain for our students because it's groomed, it has a nice flowing and gentle slope to it. It's also quite quiet on the hill today, so it will take some of that apprehension out of that, highlighting the best possible scenario for our student. What this allows me to do is to create an experience for my student with maximum speed on minimum terrain. The objective that the student and I have chosen together will be to create some speed management so that my student can eventually progress to a steeper run. Measuring success for my student to have the ability to maintain a consistent speed. Or in other words, finishing the run as fast as they started it. Highlighting a skill is essential for creating an understanding for our student. We have three skills. We have edge control movements, we have rotational control movements, and we also have pressure control movements. These are the building blocks that allow us to blend different amounts of each skill to create the desired outcome. By using the skills framework, we're gonna be able to describe the different actions. We wanna be able to pronate the foot, which creates some edge grip on snow. I then blend in some turning effort of the lower body that further contributes to this nice round turn shape. I follow it up by creating some pressure management and bending of those joints to create a nice fluid round turn. What I can do is I can create different exercises or describe different movement patterns to create a result for my student. But the real challenge here is to get them to understand cause and effect. What we need our student to understand is when we create grip at the top of the turn by edging the ski, we get a nice rounded beginning of the turn. Rather than what happens when I create more twist than grip, I get more of a Z shape. By allowing my student to see this difference and understand this difference, when they finally come down, they can start to reflect in action. This reflecting in action is important for a student's success. So now, since we've done a great job of priming our students for what to expect in the environment that we're on, essentially what we've done is we've created a picture that we can then use to assess them in the next stage of the collaborative teaching approach, which is assess the experience. 